Hey, in this episode, I want to talk to you about thriving, not just surviving during this crazy COVID-19 pandemic. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So, hey guys, just going for a drive right now and um, just walked my dog. It was too cold. I was going to record the podcast while walking my dog, but he'd be trying to go and sniff everything and pull me away and I'd probably be distracted and my muscles are really sore. I don't know if I've been a little stressed out or what it is. I just need to, I skated the other day, so maybe I pulled something. I don't know, but going for a drive to kind of loosen up. going to go through the Starbucks drive through and get a London Fog. I haven't had one of these things in weeks, so I'm like starting to, uh, you know, what's it called when you're getting off of drugs? <laughs> I'm starting to go through withdrawals here, so I need I need one, you know. But what's been working for me the last few weeks, I want to give you some ideas on how to just, you know, not just survive, but thrive during this. You probably got more time on your hands than you ever have. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on what industry you're in or where you live, what kind of job you have. Um, you, your, your industry might be booming. There's some industries that are booming right now, like DHL, FedEx, Amazon, you know, grocery stores. It's a good time to own a grocery store, by the way. Um, but there's a lot of businesses that are thriving, so it really depends on what industry you're in. And thank God we are in the e-com business, okay, the e-commerce, where people buy stuff online and specifically music, Okay, people are buying stuff online more than ever, and I'm seeing record numbers with my uh, sales online. Like, I'm about to sell out of another album and then sell out of another one. And just to, for those of you who don't have any albums yet, just so you know, this can work with selling your digital singles and creating a digital bundle to, to run ads and sell those. It's just about how you present the offer and how you sell it, okay? But just so you guys know, like, it is still working better than ever. Like, there's way more people online. I'm getting more views on my Instagram videos and my YouTube videos because people are online. So this is a perfect time not only to market, but to create content. All right? Maybe now's the time where you can get a deal with your producer and write a song over the wire because maybe they need they don't have as many people because some people are scared. But you're not scared. You're a fighter. And you're going to invest in your career right now and, you know, write some songs. Maybe certain people that you wanted to work with that wouldn't reach out to you or you couldn't work with before because they were so busy. Maybe now's the time to get that feature, you know. So you want to look at this as an opportunity. And, of course, I'm not at all trying to take advantage of what's going on in the world right now. It is terrible that people are dying. This virus thing sucks. We pray against it every single night that it would just die and that people would live and we would just conquer this thing you know that's what I'm believing for but I at the same time I'm of course trying to see how I can thrive and sell more music and impact people and help my family and and, and do more business you know what I mean and what, what do you want me to say like people are buying from my Shopify store more than ever if, if you haven't set up your print on demand store and and getting your, your your merch together and your packages and your bundles like now's the time to do this stuff you got more time or maybe now's the time to write some songs finish writing that song that you know you need to finish get it done better get it right with some other people even if it's over the wire i plan on emailing a couple people today to see if they want to do some writing sessions um, over the internet i know my buddy's been doing a few of those virtual sessions and it would be the exact same thing like in person i'd probably zoom them via zoom um, uh, or FaceTime, whatever you want to do it. And I'd bring my idea and I'd chant out the idea and then they'd start working on the beat or the track and we'd start hammering out song ideas and lyric ideas. It's exactly what, what we would do. Um, but we just do it over the wire. You know, it's funny when I would go into a studio session, I, I always bring my, my ideas and stuff. And then, um, the guy would start to work on a beat or a track and while he's working on the track, I'd be like, yes or no, or, and liking that. And, um, once he got the track going, um, at least in the last session, I had the co chorus and we made sure the chorus matched and we kind of made that fit. But then I realized I had to rewrite the verses. So while he was working on the track right there, 
I, uh, I just started working on the verses. So virtually, I would probably just get him to work on the track a little bit more while I'm just, you know, listening, whatever, just there. And then he could just export it, MP3 it to me, send me the loop of it, and I can keep writing verses and then just, hey, record a quick thing in GarageBand or Logic or whatever it is you use, Pro Tools, and then just send that to him and get him to approve it. And then I just start tracking vocals at home in my, my studio, send them over to him, he mixes them, we get all the takes we need, et cetera, et cetera. It tells me what we're missing, more harmonies, more high octaves, you know, some double ups, do a retake on that, rewrite this. <laughs> That's what I literally had to do just a few days ago to finish a new song. But we, just, I've always been, already been doing stuff over the wire, but this is just, you know, forcing you to, um, to, to do it, you know? And what's interesting is, you know, um, we've been doing this for a while, but I think this is going to real make people realize like, look, you don't have to fly here or drive there. You can just work online and be more efficient. Really. It's obviously not nearly as fun as going into the studio and hanging out with someone in the same vibes, but Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know, if you got a great song idea and you're passionate about it, you know, it's going to work, you know, it's, it's just going to work and you're going to, you're going to feel it. So I encourage you, Now's the time to, to market harder than ever because ad costs are down. There's not as many people advertising, but there's more people to advertise to, to sell your music and grow your brand. Now's the time to get your music in front of eyeballs for like half the cost. You know, I don't know if exactly half, but I know my ad costs are like in half. And um, if you got good music and you got something to sell, like now's the time, my friend. Get on there. Um, if you have not watched the training um, that I've done, smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash live training, go watch that training and join the Music Selling Machine program. Um, we're having so many artists that were hopeless and or felt hopeless, I should say. They weren't hopeless. They felt hopeless. Had all these albums. We're thinking about quitting. I get all the emails all the time. Chris, I was so close to quitting and just saying, forget this. And then you showed me how to, you know, do direct sales for my marketing and grow my fan base. And, you know, one of my students did $1,300 in her first month. And I'll share more of her story on another uh, podcast. But, like, man, like, just absolutely just killing it. You know what I mean? And was thinking about giving up. And now sold out of her music and is having to press more stuff and build it out. But talk about breathing hope into her career, you know, um, and again, go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash live training to watch that. There should be a link just at smartmusicbusiness.com um, as well. But I remember when I was like literally thinking of giving up and I was just like, okay, this is the last record. This is the last hurrah. You know, this isn't, you know, really working out. Cause like I, I was like, just got off a really bad tour. Like it was a really bad tour. They treated me not very good. It was a buy on. I was only paying like 150 a night, I think. But, um, you know, I, I lost my shirt on it, you know, or maybe broke even, I don't know. But all I know is it was during Christmas time and I came home and, you know, didn't have much money. And I remember having to go back to my old job and they offered me my, my job back and all this stuff. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. I still got another tour that I got to do after this. Cause you know, we we're always planning tours way ahead. And, um, I was so close to quitting. And then all of a sudden we had success in Japan which honestly was like a dream come true. Like all of a sudden, literally selling tens of thousands of albums in Japan. And that breathed new life into my career. And obviously I can't promise you a record blowing up in Japan or anything like that. But I do know that these marketing strategies and skills that I've developed that are working for me and working for so many of my students can work for you. If you've got good music, if you've got some old music, old music videos, um, and you know who you sound like, and there's an audience, okay, we can market your music and put your music in front of those fans and get them to buy your stuff, okay? I know, without a doubt, we can do it. Um, but you just gotta be willing to put the work in. It is a lot of hard work. I'm not saying this, this is definitely not get rich quick or fan base overnight. It takes some thinking, but that's why I put it together in a step-by-step -step course for you. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth building a business, you know, now's the time to really rethink and, and, and build a music business, not just hope marketing, like hoping I'm going to release this or hoping I'm going to release that. Um, but another idea for you what right now while you are at home is 
You know, you might have some older songs that you need to finish and get those released, get those out there. We just uh, released the uh, my newest album's instrumental today. Those just came out, so I'm promoting those today. And uh, you might have an acoustic version or something that you haven't released. You know, now's the time to write a song and release it for your fans, but encourage them. Maybe now's the time to start your YouTube channel, start your podcast. Uh, all these things that you've wanted to do, just do them. And don't think about it, just do it. Like, it takes time, it takes effort, but it's worth it. All right. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. If you want coaching, if you want more help, go to Fanbase University. We're still doing our calls. We've got more people joining than ever that are getting their education and learning how to market and, um, and get their music out there, get their art out there. That's what I want for you. All right. So, hey, if you're listening to this, next two coaching calls are on the 12th and 24th of, uh, of April. All right. Have a good day. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, FanbaseUniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.